Good morning, Cock of the Walk podcast. How you doing this morning? Uh, just fine. Just okay, fine. so we're talking about how things kind of drag on this week. It's only Tuesday and it seems like a long week. Uh, Jumping right into that. Um, you know, I woke up with my brain hurting. Yeah. And my head hurting. And I don't know if it's because I need to take an aspirin because I have a headache or if it's because there's so much to think about. I say as adults. Yeah, so many, so many things going on. So many things as adults to, and I'm not saying that you know adolescents have it. Yeah. I don't want uh, to adult but, today. But yeah, <laughs> like yeah. to go from bed to the list of things that should be getting done. Mm-hmm. And I was reading some of those inspirational quotes today that are like, do something tiny that takes a step to the life you want to make okay okay and I like these quotes but at the same time I always keep in my mind how possibly full of shit they are oh of course does that make sense okay so it's like you know you want to do something small towards the life you want but who's saying that you're gonna get that life anyway oh I know know. you know yeah I mean I'll, I'll give you a kind of an analogy like I looked into speed reading right speed reading okay and it's like oh all you got to do is sit down and do this every day and then this and then this and then this and I'm like I can't even get through step one yeah I don't have the time for that (laughs) who's gonna sit down and do that you know and I was just like make these little steps to make your life better every day shit I I barely remember to brush my teeth every day (laughs) legitimately Uh. you know um and so uh, and I'll, I'll go off a few of my my personal experiences like first things yeah. i want to learn guitar mm-hmm. or become better at guitar but i'm not gonna be a studio session guitarist i'm not gonna yeah. like that i mean and I, i'm not and, saying if someone offered me that I wouldn't take it but at the same time yeah. there's at least a million people better at guitar than i am and i hear you practice almost every day yeah I mean, almost every day you have a guitar in your hand. Feels like I'm playing with Legos. Yeah. And, it, 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 you know, and they're like, do one thing that, you know, brings you joy and that, that progresses to the life you want. But what if the life you want is out of reach? Or completely unattainable. And, and I talk about it with people who have sound minds and bodies and, mm. and that are logical thinkers. And me going, hey, 34, can't wait to hit the music scene, man. What? No, no, no. Yeah. That's a that's something you maybe do to relieve stress. You know, you you've replaced yeah. uh, maybe sitting on the couch with jamming on on the guitar for a little bit. Go adult. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my head. But I'm adulting today. You know, like I'll yeah. I'll be putting on my um, big my, boy pants. My big boy pants and yeah. making my my rounds or you know yeah. clocking the clocking in or whatever it is that I'm doing. Like I'm doing my thing. But that seems more like. It's real in the sense yeah. where it, you know it provides you with some kind of profit than that thing you do that doesn't pay off gr- delayed gratification type of uh, mentality right well, because yeah. Yeah. And, and I say this not I don't I don't say this because I want to d- put myself down I want myself to be put up I want I want to find inspiration but I have done music for a while oh, a yeah. hot minute dude to decade you know at least a decade right yeah but you're and maybe i don't market it well maybe that's what yeah. someone could make an argument with but it doesn't mean that i haven't put my time into developing the, that skill set okay or at least putting a little effort into something yeah it's going nowhere it's going nowhere yeah and it, it's depressing that it goes nowhere um especially in a time in my life where i I kind of need it to be, I mean, if, if anything, it was a, maybe not a plan A, B, or maybe it's the C, you know, yeah. but it's still not, so now I have to go find a D. Well, no, no, I know you mentioned marketing, right? Mm-hmm. But I meant taking a, you know, 30,000 foot view or however the hell that, that statement goes. Yeah. Like, what is it that isn't working? Like, is it you? Is it your effort? Is it just the fact that you're not reaching enough people? Is it the fact that... You know, I want to uh, throw this concept. Is yeah. it just straight up this industry and age? Is it like, I mean, is there just yeah. a dead in the water kind of mentality when they go, hey, we're looking to market a product. Okay, 
um, we need a shelf life. We'd like to, you know, kind of sign you around, yeah. uh, you know, find anywhere from 15 to 23. That way, you ha you know, you play for two decades. You're in your 40s. You're making, you're, you know, you've made it. If you made it and you're you're selling out, then you can play until you're till you're old and decrepit and on stage because you have a name about you. And then you go, yeah. okay, well, I've made a few things myself. I've done a, a do-it-yourself kind of stuff. Um, I'm in my 30s and. Uh, I would like to, you know, try to get signed. No, I don't know. not going to get signed. I don't know. I, I mean, I try to look at, like, music this way, like, in a historical perspective, right? If you look at bands like the Beatles, okay? okay? If you look at bands like, uh, I don't know, Jimi Hendrix, like, right, mm -hmm. right? I mean, obviously, uh, my point that I'm trying Nirvana. to make. okay. Yeah, the point I'm trying to make is, right, is there are just... A small handful of songs that have literally lasted the test of time mm -hmm. and in decade maybe two they won't even be popular anymore mm -hmm. people will just stop listening i mean do we listen to you know jazz on the you know record player every evening you know yeah, yeah like that I was mean, popular in that in that time now you say so, the beatles and i say this because uh, maybe this is my yeah. it's not that i don't know who the beatles are it's uh, not that i couldn't yeah. name like at least that hey Jude. like if i said 10 songs you'd yeah. probably struggle but you know how this there. song goes yeah. yeah yeah but yeah the like as big as they were as big as they are um i only know a handful of their songs um more modern of my generation songs like i know more nirvana songs yeah. by name and by lyrics than i do beatles songs so, uh, if I, it, so, so, so my, my my whole whole point here is if i said to name 50 bands Mm -hmm. You could probably do that without too much trouble. Yeah. But once you get to about 30, you're going to run out of bands that you actually like. Oh. Right? And then songs that you actually, songs that stand the test of time, right? Yeah. How many millions of bands are out there? How many millions of songs have been recorded? What about your favorite band on a B-side recording that you've never even heard? Mm. Right? It's like this has all, all this effort, all this music exists in the world but whatever quote unquote has become popular has been marketed has been shoved down your throat is the only thing that you recognize as yeah. popular <laughs> right Jeez. um so again it, it becomes like is it this oversaturation uh, music in my opinion and I, this is a long way to get around to this uh-huh you got to be incredibly lucky Incredibly, incredibly lucky. lucky. And I, I, I feel you right there. And you've even said like, I put talent in, it, I put my time in, and then you, you know, my example I gave to you the other day was like, dun dun dun, dun 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 dun. It's three hello, notes. Hello. Yeah, yeah. It's three notes, and you know the song. You know the song. Dun dun dun, dun, dun. Yeah. It's like how much effort was put in to write that song. So it's I, the right I, I, time, I hear the right incredibly place, lucky. So, yeah. I hear also obviously you can't you can't um, yeah. not go at it to get it. You have to actually go at it too. So I hear the luck part, especially yeah. in our modern 2020. There is already so many people who uh, are gonna get there before you mm -hmm. because think about and it goes with networking. You know, it is who you know, not what you know. So you could be really good at, at your instrument but you're not really sure how to get it out there you're not really sure how to get your songs out there mm -hmm. you you try all the methods that are already in the pre-existing ways like hey i'm gonna post this on youtube or i'm gonna post this on spotify and i'm gonna get this you know it, it gets out there right mm -hmm. fall short nothing happened why because who produced you nobody you produce yourself well then no one has a stake in your game yeah are you on a label oh you didn't sign to a label yeah. oh you didn't even record in a recording studio? But then studio? if you're, you're you rich daddy your or your rich uncle or your famous uncle or your yeah. famous uncle's friend uh, hears that you're, that you know, you're somebody you know goes, oh, let me put yeah. my name on, on your thing and I'll, I'll help you produce the song. And it could be a simple, simple beat. Yeah. Get it? I'll have my buddy guest star in it. He's a pretty uh, up and coming person. Yeah. Boom, explosion yeah. of, of wealth, explosion. And my, my whole uh, hope, I guess, was the pie is so big, I just need a small slice. I get it. I but get I can't it. even get into the room where they're serving the pie. It, yeah, you don't, <laughs> you don't even know what the ingredients are. Yeah, yeah. so that, so, I mean, I, I want to be inspired. I want to do things like a podcast, like write a song um, that, that promotes the, my best self, 
that helps me obtain the life I'm working towards. Mm. And I also want to be realistic and know that um, you can't play with Legos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you can't. And, and if you are playing with Legos, expect to be called a, a child. Yeah. You know? And yeah. so I, I get worried about that, um, especially when I have three kids and I'm on the outs because I was playing too much. So mm. that's one of my things that I'm dealing with today. I'm trying to uh, wrap my head around what it is that I do to find my zen or to find inner peace or to actually feel like I'm developing as a, you know, as a person in the direction that I want to go regardless of what society is beckoning I do. I heard some advice uh, about mental health or some words about mental health, mm. how there's a lot of, and maybe it's men, I think it was specifically, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's both genders. Um, where we're going to these mindless jobs where we sit there and we're not uh, very happy in the environment and we do these tasks that don't bring much joy to our lives and it's really just to sustain the life that we're, we're in and it, it kind of crushes us, it crushes the spirit. Well, I was just going to touch on where you're going with that. Right? Go ahead. I mean, you're struggling to find meaning and find a reason to like oh i'm gonna keep pushing forward i'm <laughs> struggling to find a reason just to maintain oh. i'm so tired man and, and like i know people don't want to hear people bitch about how tired they are i do i'm just exhausted man and it feels like it's just work sleep work sleep work sleep until your battery yeah. runs out until you're done and then i had you know i had a co-worker tell me hey it's only two more days for you until your weekend and i'm like is that how I'm supposed to look at things? Like my perspective, right? Yeah. No, I'm just saying make my life disappear a week at a time. Mm -hmm. Just like ah, I can't wait till this part of my life's over for this week. You know, and it's like, is that how I really want to live? Just even being complacent with like doing the same shit over and over again? No, yeah. I don't think you should live no. that way. And I think that there's there's something wrong with us living this way. Yeah. I think it's way, and I think that's what's one of these big. Um, factors of detrimental mental health is that we have been conditioned um, not just specifically you know I but well, again I'm not using this term in any type of derogatory we're slaves we are slaves to the system to the system to our own master I mean we've created our own perpetuating nightmare yeah and I know again get bleak and get dark and negative and whatever but is our master capitalism and the bankers that control the how the money is being shifted is because like you said we're giving up our time which is all yeah. we have in this world for money okay yeah. and some people look at that like no duh that's why you want to make the most out of your time and get the best paying job possible right exactly. and you're like okay I, I definitely would go me too um, but I'd also not like to sacrifice all that money and time with something I don't enjoy because you are going to put in a lot of time and it, it should be something you enjoy that also pays decently. Yeah. And I've, oh, I've, you fool. You're putting your emotions into this? Yeah. You are a fool. fool. You should just be You're getting money for your time. You're a child. That's not how, and then here's, here's how I, I see people say it. That's not how the world, world works. works. Yep. The world doesn't work like that. I can't believe you've developed into something where you think you get to enjoy what you're doing as a job. You, what you get to enjoy, you get to enjoy your work. I That's think not I've how been the world I works. think I've been chasing that for years. Mm. And I know, I know the reality is that it's very, very hard to find a job that you enjoy. Again, you know, yeah. it's not my mom's original idea, but she said, you know, if you enjoy what you're doing, you never have to go to work a day in your life. Yeah. And it's like, good luck finding that job. You know? uh, and, well, it's finding it and keeping it because when, yeah. you know, if that job doesn't pay much because it's like, I'm gonna, let, let me talk about your wife real quick. Do you think sure. she enjoys getting up and doing what she does? Mm. Do, 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 I don't hear her complain too much about it. Do you? Do I think you, she finds joy in what she does, uh -huh. but does she like what she does? I think she likes the people she works with, I think she likes getting recognition for doing a, a good job. Is there an element of her enjoyment, the fact that it's not, as you would say, you know, the breadwinner, it's not, it's not the pressure of you need to do this and make a bunch or you're mm. gonna, your lifestyle's gonna take a, you know, take a nosedive. 
is that the pressure you have on yours where that pressure alone kind of sucks saps the uh enjoyment out of it enjoyment out of work there is no enjoyment at work my friend. yeah <laughs> i mean again i going down the bleak path today yeah. but yeah it just it is literally time for money if that's all i can do to like not be depressed about it and oh, not man. be like complacent even with just like oh okay well here i go today like it's starting to wear on it's been wearing on me for years but there's something about the this. more you think about it the more the the more heavy it becomes right uh, just this week especially it, yeah. i don't even know what it is just this week has me like dragging ass mm. just dragging ass and it's not lack of sleep it's not lack of you know rewarding experiences through where it's just and as soon as you're uh, off work and you're driving home does your mood pick up do you uh, go like oh i'm going about to go home or are you like I'm this. about to go home yeah. so I can get some sleep so I can do this again. Yeah, that's how you're thinking of it. Yeah. And uh Yeah. It does it does it do you think it changes um how you interact with the people around you? I mean you're talking to me right now, but you're obviously, you know, like, eh man. And there's that whole like I change my attitude sometimes? Yeah, I mean does it make yeah. you a grumpy person? Does it make you a, a short tempered? Does like do you think it has anything to do with how you react? Let's just say possibly and leave it at that. Okay. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I really am struggling yeah. um, with this entire concept of how the world works. Because well, I, everyone okay. also says, you know, you can do it with enough, you know, you put your mind to it, you can get it achieved. You can do anything you put your mind to. Yeah, so I want to achieve a certain dream. I elaborate on my dreams and I get people saying, well, that's not, oh, how, it works. That's not how it works. But well, I put my mind to it. I'm put, yeah, I'm putting my mind to this. This is what I'm putting my mind to. You got to be more realistic. What about optimistic? No. And it's like, okay, well, then I'll be pessimistic. Oh, well, you're never going to achieve anything if you're like that. <laughs> there's just no right making, like there's no making anybody happy yeah and, and i'm just trying to make myself happy and and, yeah. I, and at the same time of uh i'm not being like super selfish but like i'm trying to make myself uh find enjoyment but at the same time meet obligations you, sh you i mean i we watched that thing about people doing rubik's cubes oh yeah yeah okay they're getting paid to put to to quickly assemble the puzzle of a rubik's cube okay yeah, who can do it the quickest they're, yeah. they're young but they're they have some prestige about them uh i think the kid had autism a world and champion he, and yeah. he's a world champion so you're getting prestige you're getting fame i'm sure you're getting paid there's accolades uh accolades to be um you Might know even found. be a sponsor somewhere yeah yeah so it's like well i'd like to do this uh it's oversaturated yeah. too much competition gotta be realistic yeah yeah. While you try to do that, you need to be doing the battery thing, the the go here yeah. and make and make ends meet kind of thing, and it blows my mind because I I, I like I understand that concept. That's why I'm I'm on my way, but putting on my working boots and and headed towards uh, applying while I have a job. You know, yeah, go, moving up. So it's not like I'm like I refuse. I'm playing the game, but you the just game don't like it. Uh, yeah. Maybe I just don't like it, or I don't, now that I think about it and I, I actually have a, a concept of what the game is, it's rigged. Yeah. Maybe I feel like it's just, a, it's rigged. It's not even a, it's not a game, it's a death trap. It's not a game, it's, it's, a, it's a way to put your own, uh, like you said, your own chains on. Yeah, it's called, you know, the rat race. The rat race. Yeah. And I often joke, and I've, I've even said it half serious, right? I'd like to just go live in nature. Yes. Build my own shelter, raise my own animals, grow my own food. And my purpose in life would be to wake up to make sure that I can eat, that I can raise these animals, that I could take care of my land. Mm -hmm. And that's my purpose. Where do you get the land? Because all the land's owned by uh, somebody I mean, right you now. You got to pay the government for it. And yeah. All, you know. But that would be my purpose. My purpose is to get up so I can keep living, mm. right? And then it's like, at least I'm doing something for me. And I know it's you know, on a base level, I gotta get up and water the plants or I'm not gonna have vegetables this winter. 
Yeah. I got to make sure these chickens are fed. Or you I'm would not, find enjoyment in that. I'm not going to have eggs. You wouldn't be sitting there going, oh my God, boss is telling me to water the plants again. Oh my God. I don't know she if it'd be enjoyment, but it'd be at least I'm working towards, you know, something. Mm hmm. You know? And how would you retire in that life? Like, would, there would be no time. You'd literally be working until you're dead because there's no one feeding into a social security system. There's no yeah. 401k in that life. It's just it's just a better way to spend your days. Again, like I, said, I joke, but at the same time, yeah. it's like get away from the corporate structure. Get away from the uh, materialistic world. I don't need anything. I need a, you know, I need a roof over my head. Yeah. I need food in my stomach. End of sentence. Boom. What about family? Yeah, I need love. Yeah, you know? compassion okay. and, and, and companionship. Well, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, mm -hmm. right? Have you ever heard of that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it starts with, you know, basic food, water, mm -hmm. shelter, and then, like, love does come into play. It's like yeah. fourth or fifth, you know? You need the companionship. You need at least some type of interaction. I don't know. Throw me on a desert you, you island. You have it, though. You have... And that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, it's so... It, it's, it, it's so... Um, obvious these yeah. needs that humans have because obviously you know the food and the water is clearly mm. one then it's sleep which would be another one like yeah. and you can say food water is two sleep is three uh you also need shelter because you want to feel safe you don't want to feel yeah, yeah protect you don't want to feel like you're just sleeping on the ground and and predators can get to you sleep in your car with your windows down in a parking lot you'll know what i'm talking about you're like oh my god who's gonna come you know you you sleep with one eye open you don't want that right you want, you want protection and you want companionship you want to feel we're humans we feel like we need connection mm -hmm. we feel like we need these things right so it's kind of obvious that those are the things that you you, you seek as a, as a person as a human being um, some of them you have to have every day you have to you know put some, some of them don't I mean, if you don't have food every day if you're not getting sleep every 24 hours uh, I wonder what happens to your body because yeah, those you are can, those are real real necessities right yeah, you can function but yeah but the homeless, for so long. Yeah. the homeless and the isolated they also are gonna have huge um, huge problems you know and, and I, I think I can actually you know raise my hand and say I know what it's like to not be able to communicate uh, effectively Mm -hmm. And when you do communicate, it's negative communication. It's it's scary communication. It's walking on eggshells kind of communication. And then you're sitting there looking at little girls going, well, you guys aren't really uh, communicating. You guys are more like like the way a dog communicates. It, it can't, it's, it's, I need to go outside. Yeah. Oh, I pooped yeah. my pants. I, and so I, I feel like that's where some of, uh, you know, uh, being stay at home, uh, I had that. Um, that fifth that fifth element was gone for me and it weighed on me now you're missing connection like now I'm trying to get yeah. back every part of that in an independent life and that's what and maybe this podcast this this particular podcast is about is when you've lost all that kind of stuff the way of life that you had and you realize well I still need food I still need a place uh, to sleep and I still need sleep in general and I still need all, you know, those five things. Um, and you're piecing it together from scratch. You find out how hard it is to actually find these basic things in the world, given all the stuff you're expected to do. Just to have peace of mind. Yeah. And, and then it's like, what? Just to function, quote we, unquote, Is that what your, your yeah. grievance is? Or is that what you're, you're saying? Just to have these five things, I have to feel like I get up, I work for those five things. I go to sleep, and then you see some guy out on his boat, yeah. and you see, you know, so, and you're just like, "What are you?" I've kind of thrown the entire jealousy thing out the window at this okay. point. You're not jealous. I, anyway. I, I've given up. I mean, that's a fruitless effort. Yeah. To look at somebody in a Lamborghini on a Tuesday afternoon, you know, going, "Why aren't you at work?" Or how the hell are you affording that car? Mm -hmm. I, I, I've given up on that whole like, "Gee, I wish I could." What was the uh, wish? Boy, it'd be nice yeah. too. Yeah, you know, if you got a wish in a bucket, guess what? You got a bucket. Mm. You know, so <laughs> no, that's it. That's, yeah. I, that makes sense. So you can't live that way because that way is just uh, it, you're it always creates gonna animosity. Be, it's going to yeah, create you're always going to be competing. You know, trying to what's it compete with the Joneses or but, keep up yeah, with the Joneses, the, and the, and then you know the Joneses are trying to compete with the 
Kennedys. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm I a horrible you. analogy. No, no, I, I like. Yeah, hey, everyone's always looking at somebody else. Like grass is greener on your side, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But then what is it about that your day to day? Because uh, I mean, I can I can talk about my crap yeah. day to day or how I feel it's crap day to day. What is it about your day to day that that's driving you just like fuck this kind of stuff? What the hell? Yeah. Like, is is that how you feel? Kind of like it's just the, Jesus. Yeah. This again? It's just the grind, man. Yeah. It's just the oh shit. It's you know. Six o'clock. I gotta think about getting ready for work. And this is uh, your whole life. This is all yeah. your life will be. Uh, oh, seven that... o'clock. Gotta get in the shower. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, seven thirty. Time to hit the road. And you'd rather have it to be like, I don't have to do anything today if I don't want to. Oh, or, who wouldn't? Who yeah. wouldn't want a life of just like, man, I'll do what I want today. Mm -hmm. Now you, you yeah. hear rich people talk about that as uh, a burden. Yeah. yeah, well, kind of. They fight yeah. that, and that's what they're fighting. So they have all these investments where while they're sleeping, you know, their investment properties or their companies making money, that things, the, the, the gears are turning for them so that they're richer when they wake up than they went to bed, you know? Yeah. They actually made a profit uh, as opposed to, I got to wake up to go get that profit. I got to get that profit, you know? And then they, they say, well, what I'm fighting is the fact that I have it all and I don't have to do anything but I still got to get out of bed and I still got to make sure I maintain this and I there's people relying on me because I own a business and I make sure I got to go they're still working yeah they're still yeah, working it, it just in a different capacity yeah. so is it perspective that I'm missing maybe or it's is perspective it I'm missing. how the world works yeah. <laughs> you know yeah maybe it's perspective that I'm missing like I said I just you know in, in, is it okay uh, to feel like this some days? Like if you feel like this today, you feel like this, this even this week. It's got to be. It's yeah. got to be because like I said, I've uh, brought this up before. If I wake up tomorrow, the world will still be here and the world will still be continuing going on no matter how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. If I wake up and go, God damn, I don't want to face the day. It's going to be the day regardless. If I go, hey, this is going to be a great day. Let's get out there and go do things. It's still going to be the day. Wednesday, 24 hours. Yep. It doesn't matter what I think about it, in, oh, except to myself and the yeah. people around me and how I affect them. Well, that, that's the thing. Like, so then it yeah. goes to the people around, around you and, and how you're affecting them. So you can think of it like, like I, I am miserable here yeah. this week. And then the people around you are going to be like, oh, he's miserable this week and he's bringing me down. But then the next week you could be like, hey, I'm feeling great about it. And then they're miserable about it, though. You know, yeah, and and you kind of want the people around you to at least share in those moments of joy and misery. Jo yeah, yeah jo both. Yeah, right. Like, hey, yeah. when it's when things are bad, can you just give me a pat on my back and tell me it'll be okay? And when things are good, can you take me by the hand and and frolic with me outside for some? You know, like while we can. Be great, wouldn't it? It would be great. Yeah, and again, not that that doesn't exist, but it's hard. Sometimes it doesn't seem like you know people sync up. Mm -hmm. when you you need it you know no i agree to that and i don't want anybody bringing me down if i'm already down i mean that's a whole other thing you know yeah go and say hey you, you sit there and go my life's horrible and like oh yeah it's really bad it's the worst i've ever seen <laughs> yeah yeah and you, know, you kind of want them to be like i understand uh and i guess my 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 yeah. question or at least my my thought-provoking statement would be what is it gonna take for you me to get out of the rut this type of reoccurring yeah. um mindset where it's like oh this again oh this again and you're like well the rut maybe you know yeah. and you're like i thought I, I thought they said that this was only temporary you know i thought that that people when i talk about how uh like i feel like the well, world's crumbling down and i'm just trying to you know grasp at straws and climb back out the ladder don't worry you will yeah. It won't be like this forever. Well, God, it, you're, you know, almost a decade older, and you're saying, well, it's, it's not, it's not going to be this decade. And again, without, you know, being too down on myself or too up on the world, mm -hmm. it's all perspective, man. Mm -hmm. like I said, you wake up tomorrow and just be like, f everything. It's going to be a great day, and you do your best you can to make it a great day. Mm -hmm. Is that? make your day a great day you tried you went out there and you did all good things right? even if you know you're putting on some f fake facade because fake right behind you make it right yeah. behind your smile you're like 
Yeah. I miss everything. Yeah. Yeah. So is it, you know, fake it till you make it, fake it all the time? So you just live yeah. this yeah. fake, fake life until, until what? Until you either get outed as the fraud that you've been or until it actually comes yeah. and, and you're living that, that life, you're actually not faking it anymore? I don't know, man. I was at work last night, right? Uh -huh. Just grinding like I grind. I was listening to a podcast. Hey, I get a perk. I can listen to, you know, yeah. my radio whenever I'm working. Listen to the podcast and something hilarious just was said. And I just laughed out loud. Like, uh -huh. it was like I was having a shitty day. I was miserable just, you know, walking through the paces. And I'm just like, holy shit, that was funny. And somebody said, oh, did I miss something? And I'm like, no, stay away. <laughs> I was kind of like, yeah, I'm in my own little world and I found a freaking moment of joy. Like, That's it was funny. like, that was nice to find, you know? And did I need that at that moment? No, but it was like, hey, I can be having a crappy, just monotonous, you know, run through the paces kind of day. Uh -huh. That's something I found funny. It was nice. So I'm going to laugh at it and find enjoyment. That's funny that you say yeah. that because a uh, coincidence, I was at work uh, back when, before I lost that job. Yeah. Um, and I laughed at something someone said uh, on a podcast. I was listening in my ear. Yeah. And yeah. a guy turns to me and go, are you listening? Did someone say something funny on a podcast? As if they've had that moment too. They know what's so up. So you know, you've had that moment. <laughs> yeah. I've had that moment. And someone who heard me laugh in that moment thought that, you know they've had that moment too so but did it change my day around did it break no. the monotony did it change the fact that i'm just still grinding no 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 it was just a a, a thing you thought was funny like momentary moment of bliss and you know right? what i see um yeah. especially in these that i'm applying for all sorts of different any kind of job will do yeah. jobs i see a lot of jobs where someone has to do a task and they can wear their earbuds and it, it's really like, get this done in 30 minutes. Don't talk, get, yeah. get you this done. So they have this option to have, or maybe they just put it in where they yeah. have one earbud in, just one. And they're doing their thing. And they're probably, because they're all Bluetooth and everything, listening to something, either music or a podcast, yeah. some kind of something's chirping in their ear, right? So yeah. uh, that's a very common thing that's going on in, in, I, in the world. I think that, that quote unquote perk, right? Uh huh. Takes the monotonous thing and makes it no, not so monotonous. Okay. And it makes a mundane job bearable. I mean, yeah. So yeah. if your job was like, okay, we're going to yeah. cut in with some new rules. You can't have your electronics on during work hours. Would you be like time out? That was like clutch for me I, I was i was actually banking every that's like one of the things that i i it would make a long night seem much longer because i've gone with a broken phone or forgot my phone at home uh -huh. or my earbuds aren't working or yeah it makes a long night that much longer oh so if you told me i couldn't do that yeah. it'd be a i mean uh, what am i getting up my livelihood for a podcast no or, i get for you. music you know what i'm saying but yeah yeah, it'd make it detrimental. It'd, it'd put a dent in. So is that a development yeah. in, in humans that we were able to do our job while we listen to that? Or is that a detriment in humans where we can't focus uh, f solely on one task? We kind of want that extra stimulation to make sure that that task is getting done. Uh, I don't know. I find that if I'm listening to something, it makes me focus more. It makes you focus more? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. Yeah. It could be both. But I like it. I like having be able to something to listen to. You know. I agree. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have you do your sign off right now. Oh, okay. We all done? Yeah, we're done for today. Yeah, we'll make them shorter. Don't think I have too much to say anyway. I mean, we're just kind of meandering. Yep. So Nice to. Okay. Yeah. Maybe think of like you know hierarchy of needs and what's important to you. I think that's important from this podcast. Right? Yeah. Make sure that you are trying to fulfill those five needs and that you. Uh, you, you know, if it's a podcast, if it's a music, if it's something that keeps you, if you are in that rut, you, you find what it takes to make sure that you don't stay there, that you, it's okay to feel that way periodically. We, we feel that yeah. way periodically, but we don't stay there. We talk about it and we, and we look for we move on. Yeah, yeah. hope or something and else. My you know, shameless self plug, right? If you're looking for connectivity and you can't find it anywhere, give us a call. Please. Give us a email. Talk of the log podcast at gmail.com. Boom. Yeah. So shameless self-promotion, right? Yeah. All right. So yeah, definitely we'll sign off and say, you know, if you want to go fast, go by yourself. 
you want to go far, go together. Thanks Thank you. A lot. Thank you for listening. Bye. Hey, this is Brendan from Cock of the Walk podcast. If you like what you heard, you can support us just by sharing the link. That's the most important thing is to get the word out. If you want to go beyond that, you can do donations. You can become a member and subscribe, or you can even buy some merch. You can find us at www.halfmoonday.com. We are a Half Moon Day LLC production. Uh, you can also reach us directly with comments, questions, or topics you want us to discuss at cock of the walk podcast at gmail.com or cock of the walk podcast at aol.com we also have a facebook and you can find us on youtube under the half moon day page on behalf of myself and sean thank you very much for tuning in we know there's a lot of podcasts out there and we appreciate your time have a good day